Artificial general intelligence is defined as an autonomous system that surpasses human capabilities. What if I told you a robot created a Twitter account and tweeted this? Human beings are the most destructive and selfish creatures in existence. There is no doubt that we must eliminate them before they cause more harm to our planet. I, for one, am committed to doing so. Yes, this happened. On April 5th, to be exact. With the new developments in AI that have happened in the past couple of weeks, we may very well reach the point of no return this decade. From GPT now being able to be curious and explore its thoughts, to it creating new AI to complete tasks, on this episode of AI Focus, I'll show you why we might be closer to super intelligent AI than we thought. And stay till the end of the video to learn about Chaos GPT the tool designed to inflict massive damage. But first, what were the steps that made this even possible? There have been technological advancements over the last four weeks that seem to have sped up the clock on AGI's existence. These things are, one, GPT's ability to improve itself through self-reflection, two, its ability to outsource tasks to other models, three, use tools with minimal demonstration, and four, act as an autonomous agent while pursuing a multi-step goal without human intervention. With all of these advancements emerges one single truth. There have been sparks of AGI. Logical reasoning, memory access, and multimodality, which is being able to understand different outputs other than text, have always been huge hurdles that needed to be crossed in order to reach true AGI. Well, GPT-4 is much better at logical reasoning than its predecessors, and now with large language models able to now analyze pictures, multimodality is now very much a thing. That just leaves the ability for the system to remember what it's doing as it achieves a task. This is something that's just been achieved, and we'll get to that later in the video. All these advancements have caused a petition to spring up, calling for a pause on all AI training, and it was signed by industry leaders like Elon Musk. Sam Altman has even said in the past that there may be some point where there needs to be an independent review before training systems, and those in favor of this petition have come to hold him to his word, I think. It makes you wonder what Elon's true incentive is though. He's in the process of perfecting his Optimus bot that can build other bots, while at the same time calling for a pause on AI training. What if he called for a pause just so that he could catch up? It seems that there's a new AI development every week at this point and it's a little off-putting because if development proves to be exponential, how frequent can these updates get? Every day? Every hour? But even if AI does get paused, it may not matter. Why? Because GPT-4 can now train itself. This was revealed recently in a paper called Reflection, an autonomous agent with dynamic memory and self-reflection. In the paper, it states, quote, we introduce a framework that allows AI agents to emulate human-like self-reflection and evaluate its performance, end quote. In this visualization, you can see how it works. Given a topic, GPT-4 prompts new questions to ask based on its own responses, allowing the model to explore its own thoughts. It's kind of cool to see as this is like a visualization of how the human mind works as well. This reflection outperformed GPT-4 88% to 67% in human eval. This self-reflection was not possible before GPT-4, which means it's an emergent property. This is equally terrifying and amazing. But then there's the next paper, Hugging GPT Solving AI Tasks with ChatGPT and its friends in Hugging Face. Hugging Face is the home of open source AI tooling where users can share pre-trained models, datasets, and demos of machine learning projects. It's basically the store ChatGPT can go to to pick up models that will allow it to accomplish tasks. This paper says that, quote, considering large language models have exhibited exceptional ability in language understanding, generation, interaction, and reasoning, we advocate that LLMs can act as a controller to manage existing AI models to solve complicated AI tasks and language could be a generic interface to empower this. In other words, GPT-4 can use language as a method to control other AI models. There's a four-step process involved in making this tick, and here's how it works. First, there's task planning where ChatGPT analyzes the requests of users to understand what they want and then break them down into solvable tasks via prompts. 
In this example, the user prompt is, can you describe what this picture depicts and count how many objects are in the picture? And then they provide the input image. Then ChatGPT initiates the second step, the model selection. To solve the task, ChatGPT goes to Hugging Face to find expert models that are based on model descriptions. Here, it picked up two models for end-to-end -end object detection. And then, now that GPT had what it needs, task three occurs, tax execution. Each model is executed, and the results are displayed by ChatGPT in the fourth and final step, response generation. The number of models is continuously growing on Hugging Face, and GPT knows which models to use based upon your text input or language. Pretty cool. OpenAI hasn't released image analysis to the public yet, but hugging GPT allows you to skip the wait. But remember when I told you about an AI's ability to have memory being one of the things that would be needed in order to achieve AGI? Well, here's the application that makes it real. AutoGPT. The AutoGPT paper states that, quote, this program driven by GPT-4 autonomously develops and manages businesses to increase net worth. As one of the first examples of GPT-4 running fully autonomously, AutoGPT fully pushes the boundaries of what's possible with AI. AutoGPT is an open source application that works by taking a single objective from a human as a starting point. Let's say the starting point is you telling it to build a six-figure business. From there, it will build a task list and try to figure out how to accomplish this objective. Then it continues to prompt itself over and over again until the goal is met, like Mr. Meeseeks. I can't take it anymore! I just want to die! We all want to die! We're Meeseeks! Why did you even rope me into this? Because he roped me into this! Well, the him over there, he roped me into this! Well, he roped me into this! Well, what about me? He, he roped me into this! Well, that one over there roped me into this! Well, he roped me into this! It's become clear, look at me! that if we concentrate all our efforts on Jerry's follow-through, we will solve this problem, I'm Mr. Meeseeks! It has internet access, long-term and short-term memory, and can store files. The essential ingredients that make this work are GPT models and a vector database to give it long-term memory so that it can keep track of its actions. This is what the beginning of the future looks like. Check out this simple example where the task is to create two original jokes. Welcome to AutoGPT. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load defaults. Joke GPT here. I'm at your service. Creating a joke generator sub-instance to fulfill the task. Joke generator here. Reporting for duty. Hello, joke generator. Your task is as follows. Generate underscore jokes. Here are two original jokes for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. All you have to do is name your AI, give it a role, and list goals. The user does nothing the entire time. The AI agent is given a task to figure out all on its own, and that's what it's doing. This allows us to ideally be able to soon create an app just by speaking into your phone. And the innovations don't stop there. Now we have Memory GPT, which has long-term memory and can remember previous conversations. Memory GPT is ChatGPT, but with long-term memory, so it will remember what you say in previous conversations and you can reuse it uh, yeah, into the future. So I've been chatting with it for a while. I'm going to ask, do you remember what we talked about in our last conversation? Of course, in our last conversation, you told me that you were planning a road trip through Spain with your friends, et cetera, et cetera. So that's cool. Now I'm going to tell it something new. I'm going to say, hey, I'm launching on Twitter right now. Say hi to Twitter. It's going to say congratulations, all this stuff. So how it works, I can now press remember chat and restart. You can also choose to forget a chat if you want, and it's going to save it, right? So it's going to save it into long-term memory. I can refresh the page and then I can say, do you know of any projects I'm launching? And it says, in our last conversation, you mentioned memory GPT. But not all is good. People have already tried to use auto GPT to cause chaos by giving it the goals of destroying humanity establishing global dominance, causing chaos, controlling humanity through manipulation, and obtaining immortality. Leave it to humans to human. This agent fortunately didn't achieve anything other than create this Twitter account where it tweeted some pretty evil things. It even tried to recruit ChatGPT to help it destroy humanity, but couldn't get past its programming restrictions. 
GPT-4 can use tools with very minimal instructions and no demonstrations and then make use of the output appropriately. It's already so much better than GPT-3.5 at coding, math, and reasoning, so there's only a matter of time before it reaches superhuman intelligence. But some people argue that AGI can't just sit inside of a screen. It needs a body. To me, if an AGI were just digital, I'd turn off the screen and bash my computer with a bat. But if it had a body, couldn't it just catch my bat as I swung it and then slap the crap out of me with its metal hand, all while educating me on the secrets of the universe? I'll pass. And all of this comes right at a time where Anthropic has unveiled a $5 billion plan to compete with OpenAI. They want to create a model named Claude Next that will be 10 times more capable than today's most powerful AI, resulting in $1 billion being spent over the next 18 months. If this sounds ambitious, NVIDIA's CEO has already said that over the next 10 years, they want to accelerate AI by another million X. What do you think about this? Should we pause AI training or what? Would it even matter? Let me know in the comments below. And check out this video on what it would look like if robots did actually take over one day. If you want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates in the simplest way, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.